Welcome back. A big heads up for drivers this afternoon. You may see more traffic along big routes heading from West Virginia toward Northern Virginia and DC. Those roads are detours following the closure of Route 340 near Harpers Ferry. Our Tosin Fakili has more on the big headaches for drivers. We're on Route 9 close to Virginia State Route 671 and it has become a route many drivers are now forced to take, especially drivers coming from West Virginia going into the DMV because of that closure at Route 340 at Harpers Ferry. That closure started yesterday and it's going to last three months. All morning on Route 9, this is kind of what the backup has looked like going back four miles and this detour has been an inconvenience, not just because it's several miles out of the way for drivers, but how long drivers have to sit in traffic on top of being miles out of their way. It's very inconvenient. I'm going to be about an hour late for work. Officials closed Route 340 at Harpers Ferry to secure rocks that have been sliding into the road. It's a $10 million, 22 mile rock slide stabilization project. On Wednesday morning, drivers sat in traffic. One driver going from West Virginia to Fairfax City said on Tuesday it took him two hours to get to work. Some drivers say they're going to avoid this area altogether, but for some drivers who have to come to Northern Virginia or the district, taking this alternate route can be quite the headache. I teach about four miles up the road, um, so I get on the road at the bottom of Harpers Ferry, and usually it takes about seven minutes to get through, but I've been sitting at this light for 35 minutes. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. <laughs> How frustrating is that? It's really frustrating. How long is your commute usually? About 40 minutes. Ooh. So now it's probably more than doubled. And drivers tell me they don't know how they'll do this for three months of that closure of Route 340 by Harpers Ferry. In Percival, Virginia, I'm Tosin Fakile for DC News Now.